Waking up to zero new subscribers every single day sucks. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can get tons of YouTube subscribers using one of the simplest tricks there is. And here's the thing, you already know what to do. You just need to know when to do it. It's not yet. Question time, on average, how many subscribers do you gain from each video that you make? As usual, let us know in the comments below, but after you've tried this tactic, return to that comment and update us. Because we tried this on just one of our videos and it doubled the number of subscribers we gained. And all we needed to do was ask. That's right, it's one of the oldest and simplest methods there is. You don't get if you don't ask. Now, personally speaking, and regular viewers, will know that I almost never ask people to subscribe to vidIQ during our videos. I'll tell you why this is at the end of this video, but recently I decided to do it as a one-off. As you can see, from a little over 100,000 views, this video gained a little over 2,000 subscribers. That's a rough conversion of one subscriber every 53 views which is not too shabby, is it? Now, by comparison, on another video with a similar amount of views where I did not ask the viewer to subscribe to vidIQ, it gained 930 subscribers. That's a rough conversion of one subscriber every 116 views. Basically, we doubled the number of subscribers we gained because we asked, which is awesome. Not yet. The biggest mistake everyone makes is asking viewers to subscribe far too early. I mean, we're nine seconds into this video with its excruciatingly long, pointless intro and we're already being asked to subscribe. And you know what my response to this is as a viewer? Why? Why should I subscribe to your channel? You've not done anything to earn it and you've annoyed me by asking. Wasting the first valuable seconds of your video asking for subs will tank your audience retention. Try to think about the viewer's journey here. You promised something in that thumbnail and title and you need to start delivering on it immediately. Oh, and by the way, while it may seem like I'm picking on some random person's video, they did submit their channel for our Tuesday channel audit reviews, so I think they're fair game. So let's take a look at this video with its 2,000 new subscribers and see how it started. There are two huge pain points all small YouTube channels face. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. But in a massive YouTube monetization update, all of this could become a thing of the past. Yeah, I thought that would get your attention. So after 15 seconds, audience retention is at 81%, which is solid. And consider what happened in those first 15 seconds. I didn't introduce myself, I didn't tell you what vidIQ was about, and I certainly didn't ask you to subscribe. No, I didn't do a video intro. I tried to grab the viewer's attention with a video hook. I identified the pain points of a target audience of a video, YouTubers who want to get monetized, and then teased a possible solution to that pain point. In short, the video hook was all about the viewer. And to be honest, that's a general rule that you can apply to all aspects of YouTube. Put the audience first. And that's exactly what we did. For four minutes, 42 seconds, we explained the rumors around the monetization updates, what might happen and how it may help or hinder creators. We gave nothing but value until 30 seconds before the end of a video. But whatever happens, I've got an unusual request. I haven't asked anybody to subscribe to the vidIQ channel for almost two years. But if you do want to stay up to date with all of these monetization changes, yeah, I think you need to subscribe and turn on a notification bell. I can't believe I said that. We gave people a compelling reason to subscribe. You've just watched a video about monetization. If you want to know more about monetization on YouTube, you should probably subscribe. And what's more, we know these people are invested in the content because they've got this far into the video. Audience retention at the point the subscribe call to action appears is at 35% which by law of averages suggests that about 35,000 of the 100,000 people who clicked on the thumbnail and title are still watching. On the surface, that sounds like a small fraction of the audience and a missed opportunity. But if you've done your job right and made the viewer feel that the video was made for them, you've established a relationship. You've made them care. So yeah, I now know that subscribers are really important to you. And if you wanna know how to get more subscribers, we're gonna to do tons more videos on the subject. So, 
get to it. You don't have to wait until the end of a video to ask for the subscribe, but what you must do is deliver significant value first. As for why I don't typically ask people to subscribe, it's a big fat waste of time. We've already got a million subscribers. Being serious for a second though, beyond 1,000 subscribers, it's just a vanity metric. Return viewers and average views per viewer are far more valuable metrics when measuring channel health and channel growth. And we made videos on those topics. But you don't care about any of that, do you? You just want more people tapping on this. And if you wanna know which is the most valuable subscribe button there is, then check out this video over here. You better do it quick.